Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile app like photo menu with horizontal scrolling effect. I've already created a video like this in the past. However, this one is like an updated version of it with some added features such as the scrolling effect, which is this, and then and the active menu option as well. So, without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In your WordPress dashboard, the first thing you're going to do is head straight to the appearance. Under the appearance, you come down to the menus. Now, under the menu, here you're going to see all the list of menus you've already created. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I created this menu specifically for it, titled the scroll menu, and we've selected the menu. So, these are the menu items here. So, now that we are certain that we already have a menu, now we we'll head straight to our Elemental Editing screen here. So, in our Elemental Editing screen, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on this plus icon here and then select the flexbox container and then select this structure here and then the next thing we do we just click on this plus icon here and we search for menu and then we're going to select this menu here the wordpress menu we just drag and drop it here now under the menu here we're going to select the menu we created which is the scroll menu i'm going to select it and as you can see this is the menu we've created here we're going to align items uh, to the center and then make sure that the layout is set to horizontal and then for the pointer i'll set the pointer to background for the animation you can set whatever animation you want before well i'm just going to leave mine at fit and then we'll come down to the mobile drop down under the breakpoint we're going to set it to none okay now that we've done this we'll go to the style options now for the style options the normal we're just going to leave it the way it is and then for the hover we're going to set the pointer color we're going to set the pointer color to something uh purple something purple like this we're going to set it to this color and then we're just going to copy this color here and we'll go to the active and then we're going to set it here pointer color the active and then for the background we're going to set the back uh, for the text color we're going to set it to white so we'll come down to the uh, vertical padding we're going to give a vertical padding of 25 pixel so we're going to have something like this when you hover okay so now that we've done this the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the advanced settings now for the advanced settings we'll come down to the custom css now this custom css is only available for elementor pro users so if you do not have elementor pro there is a link in the description of this video where you can download the Elementor Pro. So now on this custom CSS, I'm just going to go to my code editor, Atom code editor, where I've already written out the code that I'll be using. Now, this is the code we're going to copy out here. This code makes the menu scroll horizontally. So we're just going to copy it out and we return back. I will paste the code here. All right, now that we've done that, you won't be seeing anything here, but not to worry. Once we've done that and everything is completed, we're going to preview our work and see how beautiful it's going to look like. So now that we've done this, so we're just going to publish this. I'm going to click on publish. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to return back to our menu here so we can add icons to make this uh, list of menu here have icons right above them. So to do so, I've already created right written down the code for that. So you can see this is the code here. There are a series of ways actually to add icons, but I've already outlined two ways, which is either you use the font awesome or you use the dash icon, which is the WordPress uh, default icons for admin menu. All right, so for this tutorial, I'll be using the font awesome uh, icon. So I'm just gonna copy this out. I'm just gonna copy this out, uh, copy it, and then I head back. And then under the home menu, just going to toggle this down and then for the navigation label i'm just going to come here and then i'll paste it here and i'll just call cut this and it's already written as home so i'm just going to paste it here now in order for you not to get confused along the way because most of us will want to like okay let's just go to uh font awesome web page and then we can get whatever icons we want from the font awesome web page the issue with this is that some of the icons here may not show on your elemental uh, editing screen or on your website so now to be certain that every icons you are using will actually display on your elemental uh, on your website you just go head back to your elemental so we just come here under this we're going to add another element called the icon element 
then we're just gonna open this up so now every icon you see here we can make use of it so for the home icon we've already selected the home icon which is the normal home icon so the next we're just gonna do is just copy this out and then we'll come down to the next which is a favorite uh, we're just gonna paste it before the text favorite and then we're gonna copy out the text cut it out and then paste it replace the home with it so now the next thing we're gonna do is we just come down to the beginning here where we see this text here Going to replace this text now to replace this text we'll go back to our elemental uh, editor and then we'll just search for heart all right this is the text so this is the icon we want to replace so i'm just going to copy out this text heart always make sure that the spelling is correct it's always the same way you have there and you just just replace this here with it heart so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to copy this out and just like we've done here we're going to do the same for the program i'm just going to paste it before the program text and then i'm just going to highlight the program text and cut it and replace this favorite with it and then i go to the beginning here where this heart is i'm going to replace it with um, a calendar i'm going to replace it with a calendar okay this calendar here so as you can see now this calendar has two words the calendar and then the odd so to use this particular icon just go back here and here where you have this hat you just clean this hat and then you replace it with calendar and then add a hyphen and the odd so if there are two words the separator you use is the hyphen and then you write the second word it's as simple as that so the next thing we'll do we'll just copy this out and then we'll come down to the gallery now for the gallery we'll paste it before the gallery text and then we'll highlight the gallery text and then we'll cut it and replace the program with it and we'll head back here and we we'll search for images okay image okay we're going to use this icon here images so we'll just go back here uh we're just going to replace this calendar out to image is it image images to images and then we'll add s here so uh, i'm just going to pause the video and then complete the remaining icon here the remaining item list with icons here to avoid making this video very long all right as you can see i have successfully done it for all the menu items here so the next we're just going to do is just going to click on save menu okay now that we've done that we head back to our elemental editing screen and we do not need this icon anymore so we're just going to delete this just gonna delete that and then no worry if you're not seeing it is because of no refresh this page here so we're just gonna publish this and then we're just gonna preview changes so as you can see all the menus here have icons above them so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test our horizontal scroll for this menu so to do so we're going to since the menu items are not long on the desktop view we're just going to view it on mobile view using the um, chrome inspector tool so we'll just click on this and then as you can see everything works perfectly as you can see it works perfectly well so all right so let's head back let's head back here and then let's just refresh this page so that our icon will display here as well all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to make this sticky to the bottom just like a mobile app icon so to do so we just come to this um, container here edit the container and then we'll head to the advanced settings under the advanced settings we'll come down to the position and then we'll set the position to fixed now you can't see it anywhere but what you do next is uh, under the fix you just come here to the vertical orientation and then you set the vertical orientation to the bottom and this is what we'll have here so now if we should preview this on mobile this is what we'll have here as you can see so the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we make sure that we set a Z index here so that whatever um, item that is above it, this menu will be above the, any other item on the website. So we're just going to give it a Z index of 10. And then once we've done this, we're just going to click on publish. We're going to click on publish and then we just head back here to our preview. And then we're going to refresh this page. Voila, as you can see, 
this is what we'll have here now you notice that the first item here is active and the reason for that is because this is the home page of this uh, tutorial site that i'm using this is the home page so now every other page as long as you click on it uh, that particular page is the active page this background will show on it also you need to bear in mind that if you want this menu here to be displayed on all pages on your website make sure you add this menu uh, this menu item make sure you add it to your footer template so that it displays on all pages of your website if you're using a single page website then you do not need to do that you can just add it on the home page and that is it so as you can see this is it so this is pretty much how easy it is to create a horizontal scroll uh, menu like all right that's pretty much it about this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you find this tutorial very helpful if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and also remember to hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next i upload a new video until then see you next time Bye bye